Hi, good morning. It's Emily with Show Me CPR. And once again, I'm here in my car shooting a video. Uh, it seems that's when I do my best thinking. I just dropped the kids off at school and I've got some extra time before my CPR class. So I also popped into Burger King, grabbed a large ice water. You know, there's something about drinking from a straw rather than my water bottle. Um, but it got me thinking as I'm preparing for my CPR class. One of the things that we talk about when we're doing the initial assessment and when we're checking for responsiveness and checking for breathing of the person is we do the head tilt chin lift to open the airway. And the reason we do the head tilt chin lift is we want their airway to be nice and straight and open. Well, I think of your airway like a straw, and if you're drinking your fountain soda, or your water in my case, you want that straw to be straight up and down, because that's how you get the most soda or the most water. If you were to take that straw and pinch it or bend it forward and then try to sip some soda out of it or some water, sure, you're going to get some, but not as much as if that straw were straight up and down. Well, think of that as your airway then. If your airway, if we're not doing the head tilt chin lift and opening up the airway so we can accurately check for breathing, we're checking through a pinched off straw. So that's one reason, not to mention when we're actually giving breaths. First of all, think of giving breaths to somebody through a straw. Pretty difficult, right? But then if their straw is pinched off or their airway is pinched off, even more difficult. So quick tip of the day head tilt chin lift, and the next time you have your fountain soda or your straw, you probably aren't going to think about it the same.